I love those moments in life when you feel glad to be alive. I had one recently. I was in an elevator in America with my mum, right? And I was quite depressed. I just read this story. Apparently Tesco no longer sell curved croissants. We only sell straight ones. Because enough people wrote complaining they struggle putting jam on curved croissants. That is a thing. <laughs> As a nation, we have been defeated by bendy bread. <laughs> The scale of stupid just dear Tesco not being funny. <laughs> Going like that. Sorry, there was jam on the table. So <laughs> how can you be that? Help, Tony! It's happening again. It's happening. <laughs> so I was in this elevator, a bit depressed, and then this woman started laughing. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> really deep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, why are you laughing? And this woman looked at me and went, Sugar, has anyone ever told you you look like Ellen? And you <laughs> never heard like you, 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 you. Everyone in the elevator, you, you, you. My mum was like, she's got a point, Russ. <laughs> you look like a powerful lesbian. lives for those moments, lives to embarrass me. Now that I'm famous, she loves it, right? We were in a traffic jam the other day in a car. This bloke got out of his car, knocked on the window, went, excuse me, can I have a photo? Now, that's fairly strange. Do you know what my mum did? She genuinely went, help! <laughs> he kidnapped me! <laughs> Don't applaud her. I said, quite reasonably, what do you do that for? To which my mum went, because I'm 57. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? I miss my childhood, you know? Not all of it, obviously. I don't miss the recorder. If you... Yeah. <laughs> if you went to school in the 90s, the hours... Hoo, and you've never needed that at a party. You've never... This is a bit flat. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Just a girl in the corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you know a little donkey? You know I do, baby. <laughs> Remember that creepy thing girls did at school? Pick a number, pick a colour, pick a number. <laughs> what voodoo sorcery is this, Linda? Pick a number, pick a colour. Red, R-E-D, number! All right, all right. <laughs> three, one, two, three. Everybody hates you. <laughs> well, I do, I miss my childhood. Do you know, because as an adult, you have to plan fun. You know? As a kid, it just arrived. Do you remember the first time you saw a rainbow? Do you remember that moment? It's in the back of the car. Dad, there's colours in the sky. <laughs> well, that's a rainbow, son. It has a name. <laughs> Not only that, Russell, there's a pot of gold at the end of it. <laughs> it's guarded by a tiny leprechaun. <laughs> Pull over right now, Dad. <laughs> Me and my brother got on our bikes. Did anyone else do that? Rode to try and get the gold. But he didn't do this. We took a knife just in case the leprechaun acted up. How different <laughs> would my life have been if I bumped into a tiny Irish man that, where's the money, leprechaun? <laughs> I come from a very silly family, right? Our favourite game to play is the mirror game. You have to play. It's really simple. It's like your dad might say something suggestive. So dad might go, God, that back door's a bit stiff. And you go, mirror. Right? <laughs> Let's do one now. Who wants a juicy sausage? <laughs> really simple. We've been playing this game for 20 years. Does my mum understand the rules? No. <laughs> Does it stop her from joining in? Absolutely not, my friends. <laughs> this is why I was lucky. I was raised by such a joy monkey. I said to her recently, went, do you want a cup of tea? And my mum went, mirror. <laughs> You didn't get me, did you, you fabulous dumpling? Let's do this. <laughs> it has to sound rude, but not be rude. How can a cup of tea possibly be rude? And my mum looked at me and went, I don't know, Russ. You could pour it up your bum. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lucky enough to be raised by a woman that fantastic, it's a treat to take her places. I took her to a premiere recently, which is kind of a bit of a thing to show off, but I took her to a premiere because my sister was in a film. So we kind of went. I had to buy my mum a handbag. That was a first. Five long hours. In the end, I just went, right, here's my cash card, here's my pin number, you get it. Well, how much am I allowed to spend? I don't know. How much is a handbag worth? Well, how much do you think it's worth? <laughs> I don't know. Should we say 500 quid? Yes, we shall. <laughs> What she did, she bought a handbag for 200 quid, went to the cash point and took out the other 300. 
we get to the premiere, right? We have our photo taken. That's one of the funniest things. All the paps are there. Normally, what happens, the lady celebs, they do this lovely thing when they kind of walk up and they do the said with me, like that, and off they, off they wander. Nobody had taught Mum to do that. So what did she do? She just ran at them like that. <laughs> it's like watching a Yorkshire pudding move carrots out of the way. <laughs> I'm sat there next to this woman I adore, and my little sister is on the silver screen. My heart is beating with pride. It's beautiful, you know? And then it happened, my friends. Halfway through that film, my sister starts getting it on with an old man. Now, I don't know if you've ever sat down and drawn up a list of things you don't ever want to see. <laughs> and I would argue at the top of that list will be watching your sweet angel of a little sister get off with a pensioner when you sat next to your mum. <laughs> and my mum looked at me and went, Meh. 